Hey everyone, welcome back to Carrots and Olives. My name is Brittany and today I'm going to talk about my 2021 lineup. If you want to hear about how this is going to work for 2021, please stay tuned. So all these notebooks are going to be a combination of my journals and planners for 2021. There is one that is a little bit questionable, but I will get into that in just a minute. So first things first, I thought I could start off with my journals. So my main personal journal is going to be the B6 size. I've actually been using the B6 size for a while now, majority of this year, and it's currently housed in a VDS Stardust Velvet Matte Custom. It has like the card slots, a pocket in the back, and a pen loop, and I don't have a big back pocket for this, for this one. So this is going to be, and actually is, my current personal journal. The next type of journal, which I'm really excited to talk about, is this one. So this is the A6 size Hobonichi Techo zip cover. It is called the Mina Perhonen Woodbird, and it's in the gray. I really love the pool tag, which is, I believe, real leather uh, and undyed. And I got the five-year Hobonichi Techo. I'm really excited to use this, it's more specifically for family and a little bit of personal. So this will be starting January 1. And this will be my very first year with a journal that is more than one year or meant for more than one year. I really like this cover. I don't know how long this journal will last. I don't intend to put a lot of pictures. It would probably be more drawing than um, actual photos if I do plan to add more than just words heard that you can fit the A5 Techo in a zip cover and I think it might stretch but maybe not too much so I know that at least it would work out for the first probably like half a year or even the first couple years maybe we'll have to see but this is going to be my five-year journal next I have a journal that well it's the Giramondo. I have my Sum Keen notebook in it that I'm still using. I've used probably a quarter of the pages and this has been used as my daily to-dos. But as I am switching that up to another planner, then I will have room to have this more as a note taker for my ideas for my shop and my creative endeavors. I have it housed in the Giramondo Undyed. You can see some of that beautiful patina. I've had it for a few months now. I got it, um, I bought it used and um, it is holding up very well and getting all its nice lovely shine and all the feels. Okay, so the next four items are pretty much going to be my planning system for the rest of the year. And to start off, this one was very unexpected. It arrived for my birthday, which actually is beginning of January, but I opened it up early. It was a Christmas and birthday present for one of my great friends. And um, she surprised me with this because actually I was like I was just shocked because she hasn't purchased one of these for me before so she did awesome because you know I don't know like you know it's like one of those things where you're really surprised when someone's listening to some of the things you like on Instagram and 
YouTube and stuff like that. So anyway, yes, I got the Hobonichi Techo A6, and this is the English version, which I am pretty familiar with. I have used the English version not last year, but the year prior, I think it was, and I used it for a drawing journal, like a draw your day, and I was very successful with it. Actually, I used it two years ago. That's what it was. I used it two years ago, and then the following year I tried to do the same, but it didn't last long. But this year I am very determined to um, make it work. I have a Patreon where most of these drawings will be featured there, and um, that is the plan for this one. Next is the Mina Verhonen, sorry if I'm saying that wrong, um, A6. This is the Memoria cover and it has the striped plastic cover on it, which I really like this combination. And this was the Hobonichi Techo original, which is the non-English version. And I plan to be using this as my backup for next year when some things uh, in the world start to kind of get back to normal and we're more out and about. I know I'm going to need a planner to help with appointments and scheduling and something that will be able, I will be able to take with me on the go. So ideally, that's what this is going to be for. Um, and also like personal things I need to jot down, special dates, and my to-dos. Then we get into this one, and it is currently housed in the A6 cover from Galen Leather, and this is the yellow. I've had this for a while now, and I, I used it probably three years ago, four years ago for one of my first A6s and I thought let's try it out. So just to let you know I do like to switch out my covers although I'm showing these covers these will probably I can guarantee you will not be the covers I use throughout the whole year because I just like to switch out and give time to all the covers that I own. So this is the Take a Note Planner, which is going to be a new planner to me this year. And I really like the layout. It's an A6 size, very identical to a Hobonichi A6. And what I like the most is how the setup is and how different, um, different yet similar it is to a Hobonichi. A6 Techo. So things are quite small in the monthly spreads. That's one of the biggest differences. And the weeklies actually have a week view before each week. I hope you can see that. So you get almost like a Hobonichi Weeks view, and then you get uh, columns for or yeah, columns for your dailies. And I feel like this is going to be perfect for my Patreon, social media, and my shop planner. It allows me to write down tasks and also to plan ahead because it's already predated. And to keep track of all my rewards when it comes to Patreon. Um, I really like the colors, surprisingly. The red pops and it makes it easier to view. All the Saturday and Sunday are highlighted in red. Even the columns are in red. This one must be a special one because it's they're all in red. It's probably a, a holiday week. But anyway, I really like it. I like the big numbers. And then everything else is pretty small. And then they also have times on the side of the columns as well. And then they even have a separation at the top 
So you can write down like your biggest tasks at the top and then um, if you need to use it as a hourly planner, you can. So that's how this one is going to be used. And then last but not least is this guy. This is my A5 and it is housed in Eternal Leather Goods cover. I bought this pre-loved, um, freshly pre-loved, let's say, because I have definitely loved it up already. And it fits my current Hobonichi cousin. Let me know if you can see that. I know it's a little blurry, but I just put in my new cousin in here. I really like the layout. I think the part I like the most is the little details along the edges of this cover and then the fact that I have like a little a secretarial full length pocket card slots here and then I have this little secretarial pocket in the back where I can use that Hobonichi string uh, little holder. I plan to be using it for my son's school and our family events and just big big important things that happen throughout the year. I started one last year and just like many people, it I didn't use it for about four months and then I picked it back up towards the end of summer into fall and now I absolutely love it. So I'm keeping up with that into 2021 or let's say I'm moving along with that same process into 2021 and I really like having the weeklies. I've finally come to terms with how I like to use it and so it's not so foreign to me as it was at the beginning of the year. This is my third attempt at using a Hobonichi Cousin. Well not attempt. The first was an attempt that didn't work out. The second is the one I used last year, which has been more successful than the previous. And so I'm really excited to see how much this gets filled up in 2021. So that completes my whole lineup. Let's pull them all out. If you made it this far in the video, I appreciate it. I'm really excited for 2021. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you're interested, please consider joining my Patreon crew, my little community over there. I will put a link in the description box and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.